Hi, it's Paul from uh, dailyforextrader.me and I want to be a forextrader.com. This is um, how to use Silver Trader for dummies. Um, Silver Trader basically is a plugin for, Indi for um, MetaTrader 4 and you can use it with just about any broker. I've not had any brokers you can't use it with. We've got a preferred broker but that's fine um, and you can find details on the site. So once you've got got it set up, there's full instructions on doing that. If you're not sure or a little bit worried then I'm quite happy to log into your machine and actually set it up for you. So, But how do you use it once you've got the thing installed? Well, let's have a look at what we've got on the screen. Firstly, over on the left, top left-hand corner of my chart, I've got some, some information, and that information is vitally important to what's going on on the chart. I've then got these blue lines here, you can see, are the yellow lines and the white lines, and they are basically support and resistance based on different time frames. So let's um, excuse that support Skype um, let's uh, let's go through those so the blue lines are the short-term one-hour lines and you can see that silver trader has spotted some congestion that means the markets not mo is moving sideways and that's actually what we're looking for the yellow lines are the um, four-hour um, support and resistance and you can see that this pair is, is not moving an awful lot and the um, white lines, the red dotted line is an order I've got on at the moment, the red, the white lines are the 24 hour support and resistance. Now those are calculated dynamically, so that means they'll change as the day goes on, because unlike drawing support and resistance yourself, uh, Silver Trade will keep up with the market. So let's look how we identify an order. So the first thing we need to look at is this bottom line here and this congestion. We're looking to trade out of congestion, so that means we're looking for a breakout from congestion. Let's start with dollar CAD. So we've got a huge amount of congestion here, and I can't really see the chart. Let's switch to a smaller one. So we've got a big amount of congestion on the hourly. You can see there's a diamond. That's a trading signal, but it's quite a long time ago. But look at my potential trade. Seven pips? I don't think so. Not interested in that at all. Um, even here on the 15-minute chart, which is what we trade off of, 2.3 trips trade pips trade potential means I'm not going to take it. This is the signal at the last buy signal here, and it looks like it's try it's actually done it. It also looks like there's an lot of movement in this this pair that's suitable for our trade. So I'm going to skip that one. Euro GBP. Let's have a look again. Not much room for a move, is there really? We've got a it's sort of all hanging around. We've got a sell signal here. It's rallied up, but it's just hanging around. It isn't going anywhere, and the potential for a trade there is very small. Australian dollar CAD, a little bit more interesting. Look, we've got 25 pips. Why don't we get into 25 to 30 pips before I consider a trade? Um, it does look like it's bearish. There's some nice diamond, bearish diamond signals there. Look at the diamonds above those pins. That's a, a bearish signal. And lo and behold, look at this. It's coming down. It needs to break through this white line. In fact, it needs to break through the red no trade area. So let's go look at that on a bigger chart. Ignore the fact this is a buy on this chart because we're trading out of a 15 minute chart. This red area is the no trade zone and so is the blue area. No trading there. You need to make entry orders. So that's more interesting at 25 pips. Aussie dollar Swissy, 28 pips. Mm, that might be, it's nearly 30 pips. So that's good enough for me to make an entry and it's easy to show you. So, first thing I'm not going to do is actually place a trade. I don't place trades, I place entry orders. I want the market to confirm what the, what the software is telling me. So, I'm going to move my mouse pointer just, a bit, just above the green bar here, and I'm going to right click it. I click on trading, and I'm buying, so I want to click on buy stop. If I was selling, I would do sell stop, because there would be sell stop here. Buy stop. Now, it said it at 0.7... 987. Now look at what Silver Trader says. 7976. It's okay. I want to set it slightly above the red box, so I'm going to go in slightly above what Silver Trader says. The target is take profit, so you put it in at 0 0.80047, like that. Again, I'll probably move it down a little bit, get it down inside that limit where it's it's looking to hit. Stop loss needs to be about the middle of the blue congestion. Okay, so Let's put it at 0.79625. Okay, just check those numbers. Place the order. Hopefully, it's all going to work. Yes, it did. Okay, so let's look at what we've got on the screen. 
Um, so we've got our take profit up here, that's this line here. We've got our green entry order, you see it's slightly above. Don't stick it where it says entry, stick it slightly above it, okay, because you need to account for the spread. So this pair has got to go all the way up here and through here, break that. If it breaks that, we're probably going back up to here. And you can see that's quite likely to happen, isn't it? Look, looks like a ranging trade. There's two, two buy signals, these two diamonds there. Um, you can't see the stop, it's there somewhere. Uh, basically because it's probably sitting underneath one of the one of the lines because they do it, for some reason the orders do s disappear underneath it but that's fine so to modify the order I like to use the charts to do it so I'll right click the um, uh, the one of the lines it can be the green ones or the red ones modify and I can modify the order let's say I'll move my stop up slightly so I can see it and then I click modify and then click OK. Now, so this is a valid order because, okay, you can see I've got 28 pips, which is close enough to 30. I'm looking for 30 pips minimum, really, 28 to 30 pips minimum. This order can stay on there. That's fine. Probably going to happen. Dollar Swissy, 7 pips. Not even thinking about that one. 46 pips. Oh, what's this? Euro JPY. Look, I've already got a, um, a buy order sitting on this pair. Um, already set up, let's just go and modify it, have a look at it. 46 pips is definitely interested in that. Uh, Euro New Zealand, 10 pips, no, that's not a trade. 11 pips, not a trade. 1 pip, not a trade. No congestion, not a trade. Need congestion and signals. 14 pips, not a trade. So you can see how we identify the trades. I need that potential to be above 30 pips or near near enough 30 pips and I need a diamond that's kind of close to or in this red area or close at least okay if you've got a diamond like this where it's kind of um, the pairs just ranging around where the diamond entry the buy that's a buy signal if it's below the below it's it's a buy if it's above it's a sell you could take that as a buy signal there however it has kind of rallied up so it looks like it's going to continue but it could be chasing the trade a little bit and we don't chase trades if you miss a trade don't try and get in it okay there's going to be next there's going to be more trades in the future let's talk a bit about email alerts now silver trader will send you email alerts i've got so much email in here here's one okay and it's a very simple thing you can actually modify this message i'll show you how to do that in a sec buy gold that is xaususd so it's telling me to buy gold now what it's actually telling me it says possible okay it is not a time to go and put a trade on do not put a trade on go and look at it because that's what it's saying it's saying look here we've got a potential trade there's the diamond that caused the alert and it's saying what's the profit potential 1.2 pips I won't be taking the trade but I'll note that there was an interesting uh, move if it breaks above this white line which it kind of has done since that alert happened then we may be interested in a further move up, but Silver Trader needs to identify it really for me to be happy with it. But it could go quite a long way um, if it breaks above that. It has been rallying up and down, but again, I need more of a breakout of the congestion up north for that to get to happen. So, how do you configure email alerts? Firstly, we go to Tools and Options, and you need to go to da, 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 where is it? Email. Here we go email now I've got uh, a setup here I use something called mandrill and you can see this is the setup that I've got from this mandrill setup but you may have a, what we call an SMTP server you may have one already that your email client is using that you can use however silver trader is very uh, sorry not silver trader metatrader 4's email email um, support is very very simple so you can't use SSL so if your email server is using SSL isn't going to work. If you go to Mandrill, um, I think I've got them over here. Da, da, da. Let's go into here. Uh, this website called Mandrill, they will provide you a free SMTP account that will work perfectly with MetaTrader. And all you, all you have to do is go to mandrill.com. Here it is M A N D R I L L.com. And then just sign up for a free account. And then you'll be able to get your API key. Um, which is your password and your SMTP server name and paste it all in here much like I've done there and you can click test and it will send you an email 
and if I go and have a look at my email any second now, in fact you'll see it up in the corner, there it is, there's a message from my MetaTrader 4. Now the other thing about having, um, having what I do here is obviously, you, you may have noticed I'm using a Mac, a MetaTrader 4 runs on Windows, so what I've got is a VPS, which means it's a virtual private server, and that means that somewhere out on the internet, this my MetaTrader 4 is running on a copy of Windows that's hosted on a um, Windows machine. So that means I can access it with an iPad or any tablet or my phone or anything like that just using Microsoft Remote Desktop Connection but which also runs on the Mac which is quite useful. So it will run on any kind of platform. You could basically just use a virtual private server. Now to find out details about that I'll show you where to do that. You can go to my website, my blog, dailyforextrader.me it's also in the README file that you get with Silver Trader. Da, 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 da. Everything's running pretty slow because I'm recording a video and doing everything else. Oh dear. Um, scroll down the page. Now, if you scroll down the page far enough, you're looking for this here, Virtual Private Server for Trading. Just click on this link here. It'll take to the take you to the site for the people that will actually do that for you. That's this this thing here. Okay, it's about three quarters down the page. Okay, so that's um, basically that. That's if you want any more help, don't forget to join. If you add me on Skype, I can uh, you can I can join you into the group, which is called uh, the Silver Traders User Group, affectionately known as Stug. Um, the two websites, dailyforextrader.me is my daily blog, and www.iwanttobeaforextrader.com is the Silver Trader um, website. I hope that helps. If it doesn't and you need a bit of extra help, that's fine. We're, we're happy to help you here at um, Silver Trader. Thanks very much for uh, watching the video.